Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're going to look at if Bitcoin is a secure investment. Is it secure to put your money in Bitcoin? We're going to watch key bits of the Tim Draper's interview on CNBC and then I'm going to give you my analysis. As usual, before I get into the video, a quick update on the market. Am I got a lot of stick for saying Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market crashed although it dropped about 10%? But um, maybe people prefer to say it's consolidating in stock market. If, if there's a 10% drop, it's, all hell will break loose. But in Bitcoin cryptocurrency, it's a bit more ex expected or people can ex accept it crashing 10%. So maybe I'll, next time I'll say consolidating rather than crashing, but Bitcoin price has dropped massively and since then it I wouldn't say it's recovered, but it's not dropping as much. I, I haven't really, I'm not really buying into Bitcoin just yet um, I'll, cause I because I like to buy the dips, but I'm, I'm waiting to see a confirmation of trend change right before I put my money in and, and it drops further. So I'm still waiting to see how the market plays out. Other coins, EOS, I would say it has crashed. I've, I've sent out trading signals saying if you own EOS sell them and if you had sold them at the top I'm sure you've made a lot of money so EOS I've suggested that um, I do I sent out a lot of trading signals recently I've done a video on Tron if you haven't seen that video guys go watch it talk about buy the rumor sell the new strategy to potentially make money if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel I do videos on cryptocurrency news latest breaking news and um, price predictions just technical analysis and um, the whole lot really trading signals how to videos to make money and just to keep every everything that you need to know about cryptocurrency to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money so if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel i also do litecoin giveaways if you want to win litecoins uh, subscribe to my channel leave your litecoin address below and hit the notification button so thank you very much for all who have subscribed to my channel and supported me. Without further further ado, let's get into the video. A better currency, one that is more secure, that is decentralized, that is more more effective, more useful. It's global. It's open to everyone. It it banks the unbanked. It'll. It just he just went. Tim Draper is a massive supporter of Bitcoin, and and he's he's been very vocal. And some of the points he just made are so are, are very very good points. I hate it when people say Bitcoin hasn't really got any value. It's it's just it's it's something. It's like a bubble. It's got no value. It's just people are playing with their money and speculating and pyramid schemes. You hear that a whole lot, but people don't understand the thing. Are banking the unbanked, allowing people to send money to their families in the Philippines in the Venezuela and all, all all that places and some of the benefits of it it's open it's not backed by governments and all the political pressures if there's a if there's some issue with the banks like Greek Greece or um, if the government issues Bitcoin will still be there so there's lots of benefits to it. it's decentralized and we need to kind of embrace the blockchain technology rather than try and, and try and understand it rather than making comments about it without understanding it and another thing that I'd like to say is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency um, banks have been hacked. Bitcoin has never been hacked. I think Tim Draper will make that point now. No one has ever hacked the Bitcoin blockchain. So you always hear in the news, Bitcoin uh, banks have been hacked. There's been money taken out of accounts, um, and and people do bad things. I mean, there's a, a there's a issue with. People saying that Bitcoin is used to make uh, bad payments, but I mean, criminals use dollars as well, dollar and pound as well. So we can't just blame that on Bitcoin. And there's with more regulations, there will be less of that. But you can't blame that on Bitcoin. I, I know uh, Bill Gates made made a comment. So blockchain is very secure, as in no one has ever hacked, and I don't think anyone will. Just how the technology works, the public um, leisure, how it's kind of spread across, is decentralized, it's open source, and um, so that's a very very big positive for uh, for Bitcoin and blockchain that people overlook. It's very very secure. Your currency is going to fall thirty percent every year because I mean. The, the country just import, those countries tend to implode so it just talks about that okay, currencies your currencies will fall especially in countries like Colombia Venezuela Zimbabwe Nigeria where inflation is very high people are just printing money in those countries guys your currency due to inflation your currency price is going to fall whereas bitcoin is a limited supply the supply is set there's no inflation and and, and scarce 
scarcity would keep increasing as as we as we mine more bitcoins at some point there will be no more bitcoins left and and what we actually will probably lose bitcoin by sending to wrong addresses and and you know losing addresses but bitcoin there's no inflation that is another big positive for bitcoin that people do not understand we we're seeing some of the news that happened in zimbabwe 20 30 years ago whether you could buy a house for like a couple of dollars cuz inflation was so high or in in i think in venezuela you you're having to buy buy like milk with like a big stash of cash cuz of inflation with bitcoin these issues of you know government and political issues might not be affected this is a bit tongue in cheek this base is not really um, very informative, but I'd like to share this bit. It's going to be a major change. That's why I wear my tie. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big fan of Tom Lee. He's another advocate of Bitcoin, um, but I'm starting to like Tim Draper as well. He's been very vocal and and he's kind of he's kind of funny. He's been kind of funny as well. So just wanted to share that bit. And finally, I'll end it on this note. The government just decides to inflate, or decides to, that they're just going to take a bunch of currency. Uh, this is a great opportunity for the people. So finally, I wanted to end on that note that this is such a great opportunity for the people for us to embrace this technology and use it. So if you've got some money lying around, it might be a good idea to invest in Bitcoin. Again, this is not investment advice. Do your own research before you invest it. But I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts. And also, it's not just my thoughts. Tim Draper said this as well. Does that mean you should invest everything in Bitcoin? No. Invest what you can lose. So I just wanted to end on this note. Uh, this, this guy took up more just to buy bitcoin at, at 20,000 um, and it's just crazy like why would people people do that um and it just uh, for me i think you need to be very careful you, this is still a risk investment although it sounds great only invest what you can uh, afford to lose then it only takes one fad like the south korean news that came out for you to lose all your money so i mean follow me on twitter guys i post like tweets like trading signals and just news to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency i also send out kind of some memes and funny stuff to uh, communicate with with my twitter followers and my community and also post news so if you haven't followed me on twitter follow me on twitter guys so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video also guys let me know what you think of this video this video is a bit more chilled just giving you guys some information and some videos like you know tron or when i do my litecoin videos or my technical analysis those videos are a bit more in depth and there's more uh, knowledge and more kind of requires more logical thinking these videos are just more kind of fun to watch and gives you guys a flavor of bitcoin and cryptocurrency so let me know how you guys think about this format of videos so thank you very much for watching guys subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video